Hello, my name is Shep. I'm a graduate student about to earn my MBA. Let me tell you why I chose New Mexico Highlands University. After graduating with a science degree from a traditional school, I became an entrepreneur and started my own small business. I decided that pursuing an MBA would be just right for me. I needed a quality accredited school that fit my schedule and was in my budget. I live in New Mexico, so I was able to narrow my search down to three universities. Anderson School of Management at UNM in Albuquerque, Kaplan University Online, specializing in distance education, and New Mexico Highlands University in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Before I decided between these three schools, a little more research needed to be done. And to do that, I need to take you to a place that I do most of my research. The internet is a wonderful place where you can find information on just about anything. The first school in the target of my interest is UNM Anderson School of Management. In a Google search, UNM is the first school that pops up when I type in MBA program New Mexico. In fact, it's number one in most search results for New Mexico university related searches. Their website is very intuitive helpful information for any prospective student wishing to attend. The school's position is to be recognized for delivering first-rate graduate education and accredited programs to those interested in extraordinary quality at an affordable cost. Affordability is one of my main criteria. It is easy to find some actual numbers using this website. The cost of the program was about $276.73 per credit hour uh, for New Mexico residents. And the MBA program was about 45 credit hours, so as long as the rates don't go up too much, the program will cost me around $12,500. Another thing that I like to do when researching a business, school, or any company I'm interested in is to check, it, check out their social media. Anderson's Facebook page had a little over 100 followers. It seems to be fairly new considering the oldest post was in July 2012. It also didn't have a Twitter or a YouTube page. I'm assuming that the school has relied on the main UNM campus for social media, which has significantly more Facebook likes, Twitter followers, and informative YouTube videos. However, when doing a basic search for UNM in YouTube, uh, it resulted with quite a few negative videos near the top. One of the downsides of the school is that it didn't really seem to offer a distance MBA program. That would be nice. A school that specializes in distance education would allow me the flexibility to be anywhere, as long as I had an internet connection. Kaplan University Online is one of the most successful online universities that offers an accredited MBA program. Their website is super friendly and intuitive. Within just a couple of clicks, you can find a wealth of information about their MBA degree program. It even has a live chat option that pops up every now and then which gives you the opportunity to talk to a real person. Kaplan University positions itself as an institution of higher learning dedicated to providing innovative education to foster learning with opportunities in today's diverse global society in a practical environment. So good so far. But how much is this going to cost? The program is estimated to be around $28,000. Whoa! The school's social media is well established. The Facebook page has over 129,000 likes and lots of interaction with its daily posts. The official YouTube channel has 166 professional videos with a wealth of information about the school. The university doesn't seem to be as dedicated to their Twitter account, though they still post something every few days. Finally, we come to New Mexico Highlands University. This university can be a little difficult to find will not appear on the first page on most Google searches unless you're very specific. I feel very lucky that I found this little gym, and I owe a big thanks to a little website called Facebook. I just happened to see a friend's post one day stating that he was about to finish an MBA program. 
After contacting him through the site's instant message system, he told me that he was able to complete most of his classes online, and then he directed me to the UN NMHU's website. I was immediately a little discouraged as the site was not too user friendly as previous schools and it didn't really offer much information about the school. It's hard to find any direct position or mission statements, but the school seems to be driven to serve New Mexico with available distance education, small class sizes, and low tuition. The university offers an MBA program consisting of 46 credit hours. For someone like me who is not a business undergrad, the program in total will cost me around $7,000. After witnessing the school's website, it was a pleasant surprise to see how interactive the official Facebook page is. There are daily posts and lots of interaction with the student community. There are a lot of sports and other events going on. Almost 4,000 likes for a relatively smaller school is nice. Twitter followed a lesser but similar trend, and the YouTube account had a few inf inf informative videos as well. Now comes the time where I had to make a decision between the schools. When comparing these three schools, immediately I discarded Kaplan Online University solely because of the cost. It seems I can get the same quality education in New Mexico for a fraction of the cost. When deciding between New Mexico Highlands University and Anderson School of Management, it was a little more difficult. They are both offered quality programs within New Mexico. However, New Mexico Highlands University offered the Distance MBA program, which tipped the tides in its favor. This school fits my criteria perfectly. It's accessible, and considering that most of my classes are online, I've never had a problem missing a class. I couldn't be happier with the quality of the education, because the class sizes are small, I feel it's easy to have questions and interact with the professors. And finally, you can't beat that price. I really feel that the school has a competitive advantage, as it offers quality, distant education at an affordable rate. I think this school needs to promote that quality. However, it also needs to revamp some components of its internet marketing strategy. I really feel that it's hard to find the school in the first place. I feel that it needs to put a little more effort into its search engine optimization. It might be a little difficult to compete with some of the bigger schools with general words, but it could focus on keywords such as distance education or online university or affordable education and I think it could have a little niche. The school has quality distance education, and I feel maybe even a few promotional videos that show, that show students in class and actually take doing the program would be very beneficial. Another thing the school needs to work on is its website. The school not only needs to reconstruct the site to be more intuitive and easy to navigate, but it should also include more information about the school. I believe that this would help attract more prospective students. I am very happy with the results from this university. I feel that if the school had a better internet marketing strategy, it would attract many other students with similar interests. Well, there you have it. Thank you for viewing my presentation. And maybe you too will choose NMHU. Bye.